Well, welcome to a new week, and thank you for being with us here on the Word of Encouragement. Today I'd like to look at 1 Peter chapter 4. 1 Peter is a book that was inspired by the Holy Spirit to encourage the people of that day in the New Testament world about the fact they could trust God during the coming trials that were were there and were going to be coming in a great way with persecution in the days ahead. And so the Lord is preparing the church, and the Apostle Peter here is being used of God to instruct in regard to the right response to persecution. And we read in verse 13, I love this, but rejoice in so much as ye are partakers of Christ's sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. It's in the context of don't think it's strange concerning the fiery trial, which is just about to try you. And for some, it was already coming on. He said, don't think it's strange. That's part of the Christian life. That's what the Lord Jesus said would happen. And so instead of really becoming fearful and being frustrated by uh, different levels of persecution that we're beginning to see as possibilities, Instead, we need to realize, blessed are ye when men persecute you. And here, rejoice, because we have the privilege then of being a partaker of one that is fellowshipping with the sufferings of Christ. Remember, whenever we are persecuted because we're a believer, because of what we say that is biblical, it's really not us that is receiving the persecution. It really is Jesus Christ. He is very aware of any Christian who suffers anything, whether it be just a verbal attack or some problems on the job or economic problems because of being a Christian or whatever it may be to more outright persecution. There is the Lord to meet our need. And so we are to understand that it is a great privilege to participate in, to fellowship with, to be a partaker of Christ's sufferings. And then it says, we will rejoice when his glory shall be revealed. There's two ways you can take this. First of all, when he comes in his glory, we'll rejoice that we've been able to suffer with him. But I believe part of it is that through the suffering, God is able to work in our lives. The trying of our faith does develop us, as we find in several scriptures. And as that development occurs and we become more an instrument that he can use, well, his glory is being seen right through the countenance, right through the words, right through the life of a believer that's walking with God. And so we need to rejoice that if suffering has to come, it's going to do something that will be very sweet. And that is, it's going to cause us to be able to show forth his glory in an even greater way. And we need to be glad, and this is amazing at the end of this verse, with exceeding joy. Paul and Barnabas and Paul and Silas and others rejoiced when they were in persecution. There, Paul and Silas in the Philippian jail, after they were beaten, they rejoiced that it was their privilege to suffer on behalf of the Lord Jesus Christ. Paul talks about partaking of the sufferings there in uh, Colossians chapter 1. And so we as believers, as you hear reports of potential problems that may come down the line, let's realize that if we'll walk with God, it may be the best thing that ever happened to us. We don't want it to happen, but we need to realize that we should rejoice.